Hi children, welcome to our next session. What is today's topic? Today's topic is comparisons. What is comparison? Do you know that comparison? Yes, you know very well. Daily, you are comparing to others, no? Brother, have the big chocolate. You gave me only one chocolate. Brother's bag is big. My bag is small. My chocolate is too small. Brother, have big chocolate. No, you are comparing like that. I like brother's bag. I like that bag. Compared to that bag, this bag is very nice. I want only that bag. You are asking no. Your parents, you are saying that that bag is nice. I don't like this bag. What are you doing there? There, you are doing the comparison. You are comparing this one and this one. Two things, you are comparing both and you are choosing the one which is best for you. Which will you like? No, that one we call the comparisons. So, there are different types of comparisons are there. You know that, but you don't know the names. So, here let me know the today's topic is thick and thin. Thick and thin. See here I am writing thick. Thick. Pronounce it. Thick. Repeat again children. Thick. Thick. T H I C K. Thick. T H I C K. Thick. T H I C K. Thick. Thick means it will be big. Next, thin. See here I am writing the spelling. T H I N. Thin. What is the thick? Thin. You know very well. When you are eating one ice cream, after eating more time, when you chew the ice cream, Take, remember, when you chew the ice cream, it will become thin. When you buy the ice cream, at that time, that ice cream is thick. When, after you are choosing, choosing and after enjoying all the ice cream, after you have small bit on that ice cream top, no. So, that is so thin. That is the difference. Thick and thin. Remember the children, when you have that ice cream, when you, are, when you buy the ice cream, that ice cream is thick. After you are tingling and choosing and all that, then it will become thin. One more you will eat like that only, that lollipop. See here, I will show you the lollipop. Here is the lollipop. You all like very much, no? See, when you will eat the lollipop, think it, it is a thick or thin. Take a lollipop and see the size, how it is. After that, when you tinkle it, it will become thin. No, so that is the difference between thick and thin. Thick is a big one. Thin is after reducing that one, it will become so small to see. So here are the few examples compared to thick and thin. Repeat the spelling children. Thick. T H I C K. Thick. See here children, here is the small example for you. See here. Boxes. What are these two? These two are the boxes. See the size? How it is and how it is. These two are different. No. See, this is thick one. What is this? Thick box. 
This one, a thin box. See the difference. See, I'm joining two. Difference is that this one is the thick one and this one is the thin one. One more example through the text books. See here children, the text books. See, I'm joining two. Then you can find the difference in between these two. See the text book. How it is this? How is this? This is thick. This one thin. When we compare both, compare to these two, this one is thick, this one too thin. So here we have the example. So again read the spelling with me. Thick. T-H-I-C-K. Thick. Thick book. T-H-I-N. Thin. Thin book. T-H-I-C-K. Thick box. T-H-I-N. Thin. Thin box. One more example. You all have pencils in your hand, no? Take your pencil. I am also taking here. See here. Two. I have two colorful pencils in my hand. See here too. How is this? And how is this? Compared to both, this pencil is thick and this one is thin. Right? See it. This one is thick. This one is thin. See, I am jumbling both. Again, which pencil is thick here? This one or this one? This pencil is thick. So, read thick pencil. T H I C K. Thick pencil. Here, this one. T H I N. Thin. Thin pencil. So here the explanation and I thought that I hope you all understand the comparison and you all understood about the thick and thin differences. Here we in our textbook we have a small exercise related to thick and thin. Okay children you all understand the thick and thin. Okay dear parents or the teachers please Take my children outside. Take the children outside and guide them to pick that thick object. After that, guide them a thin object and use a playway base. When they are running, keep a things full of thick and thin objects and tell them to when you start counting 1 to 5, when you said 5, they should have to take one thick object. They have to take the thick object. This is that work. Then they will understand easily. So children, this is the thick and thin objects. And one more time, remember thick one will take more place. Thin one will take small place. You can find out the things in your home also. No? How you will find the things thick and thin? Go outside and see the big trees. The big trees. See this like this. Thick. So here the trunk of the trees is too thick. And the leaves also they are very thick. And then find a small plant. Find a small plant. Then you compare here the trunk of the tree and the stem of the leaf. The trunk of the tree is too thick. The stem of the leaf is too thin. This one you can find outside in the garden. No, after that take a rose. Take a rose and see there the petals are too thick to that flower and take another flower like hibiscus then the petals are too thin 
they have few petals only so like this you can find so many things in the garden at your home or in the office or on the road also the thick and thin objects you can find easily now in this textbook you have a small exercise related to the thick and thin see here children see the tree in this picture how is this tree and see the stem and the leaves also see the stem is it thick or thin fine thick means it will take a more place thin compared to this one it is too small now so here which one is thick here take the thin object and cross the thick object is the work for you so what you have to do here the thick one you have to cross so cross means that is a x shape one no x cross means x also in alphabets we will write x like this and here we are using cross so cross the thick object and tick the thin object tick the thin object so see here which one is the thick one which one is the thick one children see the pictures identify it so here this one is the thick one the first picture is the thick so what we have to do here we have to cross next the thin one see the second picture here this one is a thin one the thin tree so here we have to tick the remaining you have two more work here you have to do in your own way so better to do your without help you can do hope i'm i'm hope that i hope that compared to the all the examples and remember all the class sessions what i explained based on that you can do this one easily so all the best to give your best